Brickhead fans, a feeling you, and to all our veterans, again, we bow down and thank you, all you amazing, courageous men and women, for your self-sacrifice. You are living the way of the warrior. And Lakers fans, oh, look at me. I'm still a wreck from the 47-point first quarter last night. It was a living nightmare. Hey, I understand Caleb's got a shot. Understand Martin's got a shot. Understand Rubio's a slippery dude. But put a body on him. Hit him hard. It's your house. Every J was uncontested. That defense, my mother plays tougher D. I mean, I haven't seen Jack Nicholson with that early exit since he made Easy Rider. You know what I'm saying? That was a pathetic display in your own house. Lakers, get it together. I know you're three and five. Anything can happen. But if you're going to go down to such an inglorious defeat, do it with hustle, do it with passione corazon, put a torcus on somebody, put an elbow on somebody, put Jordan Hill's hair on somebody, do something, don't let them run loose in your casa. So Lakers, that defense, the D will set you free. You are shackled by this system. You see the brick. Hey, you freaks. And a bonus brick. Who the hell is voting for the Ameri Na American League and National League Rookies of the Year? Yasiel Especial Puig. This should have been a runaway for National League Rookie of the Year. He loses to fellow Cubano Jose Fernandez of the Miami Marlins. They were 62 and 100. He had a 12 and 6 record, 187 strikeouts, no pressure. Everything Puig did was pressure. He took the team on his shoulders June 3rd and didn't let up. Puig was amazing, a phenomenon. It should have been a runaway. National League riders, whoever freaks, vote for this for you not to put Puig as a runaway winner of your National League Rookie of the Year. What are you guys smoking? What kind of baseball were you watching? You see the brick? You see it? Un regalo, the gift. I can't believe you guys. You see the brick? You freaks!